There it is. In today's video, we're here to solve a five year wrap problem. And we're gonna try to do it in less than five hours. Let's get started. All right, guys, we have a big, big day ahead of us. Let's get moving if we only have five hours. First things first, we gotta do a perimeter inspection and see if there's any possible entry points. According to them, they've sealed everything around the house. Brian, if we're gonna solve this in five hours, what are you sitting around for? <laughs> they told me to wait for the smoke machine. <laughs> You're burning daylight, move! Well, you can see quite a bit of exclusion work here. Guys, I don't care what anybody says. Foam and steel wool is horrible for long-term rodent exclusion work. Don't do it. These wonderful oranges. I don't I think it could be the roof rat, though. Only time will tell, I guess. This is the wall right here that she's hearing the activity. We've got the bathroom right here. Yeah, it makes, I mean, it makes sense. It could be the Norway rat. Looks like everything's been sealed up. All the vents, all of the roof overlaps. There's no attic access. So what we're gonna do is create a small incision. So we're gonna open this up first. first. Because a lot of times these big voids could be a suspect area. There's toilet here on that scene a big vent for this so i think this is suspect here that is suspicious all right dave's up there i think he's taking the attic screen off so we have access so let's head over there and see what he's into Ooh. so we're hoping to get this filled up with smoke if we do then narrow it down to the norway rat it's starting to get smoky way over there Right where we were opening up that ceiling, so let's go check that out. Good job, Enrique. And there's rat nesting material right there, too. We're on to something. I think it's gonna be the Norway rat. We got smoke over here. Where? We got. Out of the oh, oh, wow. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, yeah, it smells fresh. Okay, Miho, turn the smoke on. Shut it off, shut it off. Coming from that toilet. The toilet? The toilet area. This backside here somewhere, something's going on over here. Rats love coming up through toilets. Nice big pipes larger vents so the issue here is got the toilet right here so they didn't go up with the with the vent so my belief right now or my assumption is they're coming up the vent and they're getting up into this attic area here we're going to get these rat bastards if we solve this we're all going to have a rat bastard drink <laughs> Delicious. So here's one of the biggest problems, guys. When you have rats in your ceilings and your walls, do not settle for this right here. Putting and placing bait stations around the perimeter of the property is not going to address it. So don't ever get sold on that because that's a waste of time. I don't care how little it costs, it does absolutely nothing when it comes to rats, attics, crawl spaces, and inside walls. Jimmy, we're a little over an hour into the job. We only got four hours left, bro. It's all right, we got it. We got it. Oh, ye of little faith. One hour down, four hours left. We gotta keep moving. Dave's already getting set up with the twin trap. I do enjoy putting these together. The great thing is we will no longer be featuring the Victor trap. We will be having our own Ooh. rat trap. It's gonna That's be a right. much stronger spring load. Quick catch. No more featuring Victor. We've probably sold thousands of Victor rat traps. Not once. We've contacted them. Not once has Victor reached out. They, they promised they'd call us back. Never do. So I'm done. I'm done. Bye, Vic. Less than two minutes, you set up a twin trap. Stabilizes. No rats taking the bait anymore. Traps don't flip over. How many jobs have you been on, Brian, where traps have just been embedded in insulation flipped over bait taken from all the jobs we've been to <laughs> all the jobs we've been to yes. later you won't believe what we found remember i was telling you about the rats they love coming up those three inch toilets so we've opened this up here a lot of droppings and we still have no access we've been 
the jackpot, lads. One hour and 46 minutes. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, it smells like it. Yep. Like Patricia? So like your first wife or your second wife? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna run a camera down that line before we do a another smoke test. Meanwhile. Yep, suspect here, so we've got gotta deal with this for sure. We've got the shower, we've got the toilet. There's a breach somewhere between the two. So you see this three-inch vent right here. What is this, a Walmart special? <laughs> Any tape, no? Uh, I like using used gloves. Go like this. Instead of throwing them away. Like that becomes a cap. That's good thinking. Let's get the smoke roll! Homeowner here has hired multiple pest control companies. The last one, which we're gonna be going to another call behind them, the company called Truly Nolan. They are offering smoke tests. Issue is we're having to go behind them because they're not plumbers, they're not doing proper smoke tests. So Truly Nolan, if you happen to be watching this, what I encourage you guys to do is work alongside of a plumber so when you guys are conducting these smoke tests, you can get to the root of the problem versus saying you see smoke and not really getting to this right here. I know you guys aren't plumbers. I know you're not offering that. I'm just here to help you guys out. The other uh, house that we're going to after you guys is the house smelled for like a week and that's telling me you guys are using a smoke that's a bit toxic. So beware of that. You might want to consider finding a smoke machine that is not toxic use non-toxic smoke it's going to be a big big help yeah so if you are going to perform smoke tests guys you got to be able to know exactly what you're doing and follow through as opposed to just showing getting smoke inside of a house and then saying yep you got a sewer issue you better call a plumber the customers that we're getting from truly nolan are saying look i've spent several thousand dollars and now i'm back to square one so we're going to put a studer vent on this all right so we're going to bondo this hole that we made here Perfect. That's truly beautiful. What do you think, truly, Nolan? All right, so we got to trap that pipe fix on the other side of the house. This appears to be a lot more complicated because we have no access to this tight space here. Tenants, when they're sitting on the toilet, they've heard the rats come down. They can feel the rats here. This feels like it's just got way more activity. We're gonna set up our rat back here. Now typically our bait stations can convert to hold and support our rat back, but we're out of them. Where are they? Sold out. We're gonna just uh, use this here. Set this up like this. Set up our rat back right here. God, I just wanna suck them out. Set up a camera right here to monitor. So wish us luck on this, you guys, because this is where it gets exciting. All right, we did shove some wire mesh down here. That way they can't come up and chew this rubber. Very, very important. A few moments later. All right, so we mounted a camera facing the rat back hole. And then also it gives us the visibility of them running inside of this wall chase here. So Brian, how long did it take us to do it? Three hours. <laughs> <laughs> we did it under four hours, so I lost. So you lost, okay, <laughs> yeah. Don't ever doubt me again, okay? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. See, I told you, never doubt me. So the rat vac is officially you live. Want to be, live. We did it, 
We did it in less than five hours. So one of the warning signs we always tell our clients after we find the entry point and close up is be prepared. It is going to be louder than normal. And we get that every time we get a text message. You were absolutely right. Oh my gosh, they were going crazy. We always like that. And that's always a great sign. So I'm hoping that's the case here. Okay, Rose, getting the last bit of cleanup here. Make sure we're dust free. Got all this completely covered. Camera twin trap inside there. Hopefully these rat bastards will be out tonight. Day two. Yeah, we left an hour later. That rat comes out, gets in front of our camera. Boom, we nailed it. Very fast. That's a great sign. <laughs> really, really good sign. It just lures their head right into the kill oh, zone. Oh, I got you. See I... how it's forcing his head? Boom. Yeah. Very fast kill. We were just getting tired of the, the rats coming to the side and flipping the you know rat traps over and taking the bait. So this is solved they're, all they're, that. They're, they're incredible, aren't they? Yeah. They're very, yeah. very, very smart. Yeah. All right, it's the very next morning. Unbelievable. That rat came out within 45 minutes of us leaving this job site. Check out the footage. There was no activity on this side where our rat back is. All right, we are rebaited. We will place it back. We only seen that one. We haven't seen any more activity, which is good. So we'll see what happens here. All right, guys, we are headed to another truly Nolan job. I guess these people are so frustrated that the rats are impacting their kitchen and their both bathrooms. So let's go check that one out. I'm catching them here. They're basically coming in through these, that, um, that there outlet. Yes. Okay. And you can kind of smell it. Yeah, I can smell it bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, because they were coming this way. Man, that's intense. So I'm just trying to keep them basically Contain. in the wall yeah, yeah, at this yeah. point. Look, guys, again, truly Nolan on another job here. Again, I'm not trying to dock them in any way. I'm trying to be respectful, but. When you're coming in and doing a smoke test, you don't get smoke. Just the experience level is not there based on the discussion of what this client has uh, described. I gotta do better. All right, so that three inch vent that smells is right behind this toilet. So it only makes sense to open up here first so we can look at this vent here and look down this wall here for the kitchen. So we're gonna get prepared to do that now. bigger breakdown oh yeah inside there yeah yep see inside that wall cavity question is where do we open all right so what we're going to do now is going to disconnect this and we're going to run a camera inside this pipe and see where that next break is it's going to be super interesting you can see here massive amounts of droppings look at that look at the holes oh yeah this this pipe is shot. There it is. Let's take this pipe out and we'll cap that off. And we'll do another smoke test to confirm. There you go. Look at that. One there, one there. A little bit of rat hairs right there. Look at the little. Yeah. All right. Second round of smoke. These are capped off. Oh, right here. Okay, tell me to shut it off. So live right in there. But you could see him right there, you guys. He's moving around the very bottom of that wall cavity. We're about to suck him out right now. Oh, he's like, they 
Mail me. All right, so we're gonna block this hole in case he runs out. We've got this wall cavity completely sealed up here. Oh, there's a copper pipe right there. Really? Yeah, hold on. Shoot, it's not gonna let me to go. I don't think it made it to the to the uh, vacuum. Oh, oh, there, there. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Get him. Get him, Get him. Who are you people? Oh, he's getting up in the car. No, really, he was literally just about to get inside of the motor, and my instinct, that tail was hanging down. I just went in there and just grabbed it, pulled that it out. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank God he didn't get into that motor. investigate see if there's any other breaches it's so compacted can't really see anything yeah right, put it down the wall real quick Jimmy just see if you can see any okay pretty solid there yeah what about here no 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 Dave come over here go to the other side of the pipe Could be a small Look fracture there. Yep, yeah, could be a small fracture there, Dave. Okay. Nothing coming from below, right? No. Yeah, see what you're doing. Oh, well, it's right there. Yeah, there's the smoke. Okay, go ahead, tell him to turn it on. Yep. Turn on the smoke. All right, so definitely another breach on that three inch stack. So we're gonna have to remove this toilet, open up that wall. We do see another rat nest. I don't hear anything squealing in there, but you never know. Let's see if we can scare them. Where are you putting on something? Right in your bag. Oh, there's a rat right there, right there. Where? Got you. Got him. Got him a little bit. I can't believe he actually fell for it. Oh, 
I think it's just, I think it's more cracked than anything, Jim. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just compromised. Even the vent stack going up, it's compromised. So you can see Nick opened up for the shower valve, but we need to open up where the waste pipes are. <laughs> They're going to be remodeling this entire bathroom, so we're advising them to replace all of this pipe here. Everything that's inside this wall, so everything's going to be demoed in a matter of months. So, so that's cap, that's cap, that's cap, and we just got to do that one. Embarrassed to say, we've been so busy, we ran out of the real twin trap. So I found this, which is our old prototype, and I had to cut that yellow bait plate stabilized it because I do not want this rat trap flipping over. This is going to go into this tub right here. So, wish me luck. Once again, the twin traps prevail. Unfortunately, we cannot show you the actual trapping footage. So join our membership today. Support our channel. You'll be able to see all of the raw footage, all the uncensored footage, some bloopers, and some personal lives as well. Thanks for your support, guys. What an exciting episode, you guys. That's the amazing part of this type of job. You just never know what you're gonna find. And this one here, for sure, deserves the rat dance. The twins do it again. Another successful rat extermination. Job solved. We will see you on the next one.